This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. I'm going to hit run. We have code over here. Ooh, a car. Ooh, a finish line. Vroom. Okay. Um, the program draws a race car and a finish line. We're going to figure out when the race car crosses the finish line. The sprites have all been set up for you. Do this. Add a council log statement inside the draw loop. Show me where. Okay, show me where. Oh, uh, okay. Add a Boolean expression and don't get scared of that. That's less than, greater than, or double equal sign, right? Um, well, and more, but uh, and that says, okay, first let's find our council log. And that's when we print stuff to the council. We're logging it to the council. Okay, so council log. Check. I'm going to put my space here, I guess. All right, add a Boolean expression inside the council log that asks, is the X position of the race car less than the X position of the finish line? Okay, so less. I know I need a less than. I'm heading to math, and I'm going to look for less. Yep. Is something less than something. I'm going to drop that into my council log. So what am I asking is the X position of the race car. All right. Well, let me go to my race, my sprites and do sprite X. Uh, and well, I need it both, right? Because what am I asking? I'm asking if the X position of the race car is less than the X position of the finish line. Let's go up here. The race car is a sprite. So it has an X property and the finish line is a sprite. So it would have an X property. So we're going to say, hey, computer, grab the race car X value right here and see if it's less than the finish line X value here. And it matters. The finish line would always have the same X value because it's not it doesn't have the counter pattern. We're not adding or subtracting to it. But the race car is changing. So think about this. Why would we want to know when the race car's X value is less than the finish lines? Right? If it's less, where is the race car? I think it'd be past the finish line. Let's check it out. False. Victory! And so that way we know by asking questions, by usually in Boolean expressions like this, when something has occurred. So maybe we want to put up a win screen or a lose screen, depending on what it is. All right, so why does it change? Well, the X has now crossed each other. We're winning. <laughs> Onward.